looking ahead to the weekend and for lots of Oregon families, they're about to wrap up spring break and really Mother Nature is just calling us to step outside if we can get some fresh air. Natasha, it's yes, nice. it's perfect out there. So here, here's what I want to see. This is my ultimate dream <clears throat> to get Dan and Elizabeth up there on the mountain. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I know. And do what? Yeah. Uh, build a snowman? Yes, we could build a snowman. We could have some snow cones. Hot cocoa? Oh, yes. Yes. We could have a yard sale. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm good at. Uh, no, Dan. I'll do the traditional yard sale where you're actually selling stuff. Yes. Well, this is one of those weekends where you're going to have nothing but spring skiing because those overnight temperatures are as close as you're going to get to freezing. So look at this right now. It's 46 degrees. That's at the base of Mount Hood Meadows. That's not slowing anybody down. And sometimes this can be some of the best skiing. Nice soft snow out there. If you get out early in the morning, usually is pretty good. There's your ski report, and there's Timberline Lodge. Okay, let's look at those bases. 126 inches there, Timberline Meadows, 93. 65 for Ski Bowl, Bachelors, 74. What's going to happen with that freezing level? Because there won't be a whole lot of snow falling, at least not initially. For the weekend, well, that freezing level goes all the way up and beyond 7,000 feet. Going off the charts here. As soon as we get to Monday, though, Monday is our next chance to get some measurable rain in Portland and really across the state. That also will translate to some snow, but will it be low enough? Well, we expect it to get back down to about 5,500 to 5,000 feet as soon as we hit Monday with some colder air filtering in. So that'll be nice. Hey, if you're going to be instead of hopping on your skis, hopping on your bike here this afternoon, uh, we're expecting partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid 60s, about 64 for you. Your sunset time, well, that's at 730. So let's talk about timing. If you're going to be spending any time at the coast, especially the Washington coastline, this is where we're expecting rain to continue for pretty much most of the weekend. You might get a few isolated sprinkles early Saturday morning. More really the drizzle is what you'll likely encounter. As we get on with the day Saturday, Saturday is mostly cloudy. We get into Sunday. Sunday again, most of the moisture is going to remain north. And then comes Monday. Monday is our next opportunity to bring in some colder air and also perhaps some measurable rain. Along with that, a chance we could be running into some thunderstorm activity if that cold air aloft starts to filter in just the way we're expecting. So that's Monday for you. Mostly rainy for most areas. And finally, some mountain snow falling for us by the time we hit Monday afternoon. So how about those rain totals? Again, not much to report here as we get into Saturday. You might get enough drizzle to measure one one hundredth of an inch. Otherwise, it's just the coast, about a quarter of an inch or more. We had Sunday and Monday. Now we're talking about something more substantial, perhaps close to about a half inch or so for us in Portland, Astoria, about a third of an inch. How about Eastern Oregon? You might be able to get close to a tenth of an inch, but overall not expecting much to measure. Here's your view right now, Portland downtown. Uh, your temperatures this weekend in the mid 60s, mostly dry. I showed you that chance to see some drizzle early Saturday morning. That's your 20%. Other than that, it's going to be a mostly cloudy kind of weekend with temperatures actually increasing with that south flow. For the coast, tomorrow is going to be your day with rain, 56 degrees. Sunday is a drier day for you at the coast, 55 and mostly cloudy. For that mountain forecast, we are expecting even temperatures up there way beyond 5,000 feet, up to about 53 to 51 both days. Again, freezing levels uh, climbing up to about 7,500 to 8,000 feet. We were talking about which areas would be up to 90 degrees for the weekend. If you're going to be traveling, if you're heading out to Palm Springs or Phoenix or Las Vegas, now you're talking about some hot stuff. Phoenix mid 90s for Saturday, even Los Angeles up to almost 80 degrees. And on Sunday, we're looking at a little bit of a change happening for us. The middle of, let's say, Central California, Bakersfield going there. It'll be in the mid 80s. We're not going to be that warm. Take a look at the seven day forecast. We'll be in the mid 60s for us. Warmest day could be Sunday, 67. Then we get right back to the low 60s. And then mid 50s, we'll take over for a couple of days. That's Wednesday and Thursday. So every other day, looking at a chance to see a few of those showers. Ah, look, the weekend's looking great. 67, I want that. Yeah. All right, thank you. Volunteer.